a wireless router and the ethernet cable connected which connects on back of your computer go to start click on connect to then after that click on set up a connection or a network even though you have a dollar connection already click on set up dollar connection click next put your dollar phone number your ISP gave you if you don't know it click on your click on your ISP service provider click on connect so you can see your phone the phone number that it connects to 2430020 okay let's put that but I don't really know it so I just put 2430020 Okay, put your username that the service provider gave you. You could click on service provider again. And you could see your right there, memory name, whatever. And then just pretend mine is Alan. And then 09 at com. Pretend my password is. And then you can name your connection name, whatever you want. I'll just name it wireless. Mm -hmm. and then click connect and after it connects you can right click on local area connection disconnect from wireless internet or whatever you named it and click over right here and then after that you can uh, click on local area connection click on network sharing center okay then it has to go to you have to go to manage network connections and right click on wireless internet the one that you just did the one the name okay and then you can go to sharing you'll see something like this but without the check marks you, you will see it like like this so you click on that one make sure all the three three check marks are check marked and click ok then there you connect and you have your internet but please, if you're gonna use two things at the same time, it's gonna be very slow. I recommend you turning on your computer, connect to the internet, and and do. Let's say you can play with other person on your PS3 wirelessly, and you just use your PS3 instead of your computer. Just leave your computer on. Okay, that's all. Okay. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you like my video.